This is Heavy Conversation with Bruce and Jody, a podcast where we talk about being a big guy in today's world. I'm Bruce. And I'm Jody. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What's up, Bruce? Hey, Jody. I'm recording from the couch, and it's like uh, that's all right. You know the, the technology. It allows me to do this right here <laughs> with the yep. microphone, the computer on the couch. Um, I was very. It, it's not as exciting as last week when mm-hmm, we got to actually mm-hmm. do this in person, but um, that I, was quite quite the episode. It so sure was. If you, if you if you haven't already listened, go back and listen to the. We're back together um Oktoberfest special it was yes. quite fun if you made it through gold star yes is, yes, yes. Yes, yes yes thanks for listening and joining us again <laughs> yeah yeah so it's um it, it's been a good week and it's been kind of um you know a, a very different from the Oktoberfest week where there were lots of lots of beers and things like that um I know that uh uh you had mentioned before that you went to the doctor and you're kind of mm-hmm, working mm-hmm. on some things like that. Um, I also went to the doctor. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go us. I know. I know. Just, uh, just, you know, for my, my checkup, my doctor had reached out and was like, uh, we haven't seen you since before the pandemic, uh, <laughs> you know, so, um, why don't you come in so i scheduled an appointment and you've got to schedule those like so yeah. far out like a month out at least yeah. yeah yeah and so i was like okay well this is coming it, it's a it's a ways down the road i got time and time mm-hmm. flew by and it's my time for the doctor's appointment and i have been lucky in that i i have a, a good doctor that you know when you're a bigger person it's there's always that stress of you know you're gonna go in and they're gonna be like well you need to lose weight yeah um, you know um and and that or, or that you're just not going to get uh the kind of care that you you would hope y- yeah, you would yeah. get and my doctor is is really good she's she's great she's just like um she she's kind uh talks through lots of things wants to hear you know what i have to say and and all of that and so I went through and did the whole thing and uh, everything went well um you know, I've got to, uh, I got to start exercising more. So, Mm -hmm. um, I was like, well, you know, I have a lot of time. I have a lot of day that I, that I dedicate to, you know, working, hanging out, sitting around. So I could probably find 30 minutes in there to try something, to do something. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I've got my bike, and I, I do like to ride. I haven't been riding as much as as I had been over the summer. So I thought, well, I've got this treadmill in here. What if I just yeah. start trying that? And uh, I decided to get on it yesterday. Yeah, yeah. How'd that go? Um, it was good. It was good. I so I got on. <laughs> I got out here and I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna start off and just see how far I can run, how long I can run. Okay. Um, it turns out like actually running though. Run. run. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I was I like, like the, you're gonna do what? Run. It. I, <laughs> it turned on, you know, and I had I had this program in, and it was it was going, and so I was walking, and then I was like, let's do this, and so I cranked it up, you know, and and just started running, and uh. uh I can run for about a minute before my body <laughs> begins to shut down. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so I ran and I was just like, ah, and had to crank it back down. And uh, then I, <laughs> then I went from like brisk walk to um, basically like a, a, a jog of some okay. sort Okay. Uh, for most of the 30 minutes. And then the last like five or so, um, it started getting you going faster. So you were doing that jog. And so by then I really felt like I could run again. So I cranked it up and I hit it again and I did about another minute. And you know, this is just, I just wanted to see what I could do. Basically that's kind of where I'm at with it is like, I feel like I can make this something that I do every day. Mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. just because like, I don't have any reason not to, Right. And I yeah, kind of right just there wanna... in your office area. So yeah, totally. And so I just want to see what I can do and see how, you know, see how I, I feel after, I don't know, let's do it for a month, see what yeah. happens, you know? And, and um, I will tell you that I was very, 
very, very sweaty. And I will also tell you <laughs> that uh, uh, a brand that uh, I have not talked about in a long time that I will not uh, will not name here, um, uh -oh. but you certainly will not see any more uh, reviews of this brand on Chubster. Um, I had some of their uh, some of their running gear. This is an older brand that's had okay. this kind of stuff for a long time. So we've got some new stuff coming up. It's not this brand. It's an older one from years and years ago. Um, I had one of their shirts on and I don't know what happened, but it was the itchiest damn thing I've ever worn in my life. <laughs> so before I got on the treadmill, it was like so bad. I'm like scratching my back on the, on the corner of the wall. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was horrible. So I had to like, it's this. a specific like, it's shirt some, or outfit. Yeah. It's like some wearing? kind of running shirt that was like oh. this stretchy, almost, I don't want to say beaded material, but it was just like this weird stretchy, quick dry stuff that okay. it was a very unique material and it was horrible okay i ripped it off um I, I wanted to burn the thing i settled for throwing it away um and so i did the whole i i did the shirtless run like those nice. runners that you see out uh -huh, there uh -huh. i'm like i guess i can see why you would do this it was actually uh not half bad to just run without a shirt it was not right. something that i had planned to do um but it worked and, and you made it through the the 30 minutes i did so i yeah, yes yeah. so in all um it ended up taking me about 21 minutes to get to my mile <laughs> so uh but i mean i felt you know i felt a good 20, about it. 20 minute mile yeah yeah right right okay. so okay. you know i i felt good about it and i don't feel like like i'm not competing with anyone i'm not competing mm -hmm. you know i feel like just getting through the thing and doing it is yeah absolutely basically where i'm at and i feel like as long as i am pushing myself and i feel like there's forward momentum then i'm mm -hmm. doing what i you know what i set out to do so i'm just going to do it every day and just see how it goes um my wife is a runner and she's been doing it since I guess the beginning of the year, maybe, maybe even last fall. I can't remember now, but uh, you know, she's out there really doing it. And she's like, uh, don't do the treadmill, go out and into the neighborhood and, you know, go out on a, on a path or something. And I'm like, I'm not ready for that yet. Like, I yeah. don't, I need to feel more confident and comfortable, I guess, in with, <clears throat> with like doing this, like walking. Yes. But mm -hmm. I'm my my hope is that as I continue to do this, that I will jog or mm -hmm. run. And I'm just not comfortable doing that outdoors yet. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, it it kind of took me a little while on the bike to even get to that point where you see a big guy on a bike, and sometimes I'll get comments, people yelling from cars and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Not that often, but enough that I know it's a thing and it's a thing in my in my head. And so if I'm running and i'm doing this thing that i uh don't feel as confident about at this point i want to get to the point that i that i do so i feel like yeah. the treadmill is a good place to start <clears throat> yeah yeah i, I never I, i'm not a runner at all like i i tried to do that a number of years ago and i just was you know fighting the whole way through it and i'm like i'm definitely not i'm in worse shape now so it was just like hard on my knees and my I was just like oh my god this is horrible so yeah I'm like that's not a thing I'll do the I I like to do like the elliptical that's kind of the cardio thing that I like to do right it's not so jarring but I still kind of get that similar motion so totally yeah you know I'm I'm with you like running has never ever ever <laughs> ever been a thing that I've been interested in but then I, I'm kind of in a place in my life where I'm starting to look at all these things, these like active, these activities where I'm like, I never was interested. Why, why was I not interested? Why, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and, and usually it was because I didn't think I could do a thing. And it was because I didn't think I could do a thing well, or I was self-conscious about oh, something. Yeah. And so I, yep. so I, you know, blocked it out or I pushed it away and it was something that for years and years and years I just was like nope I don't do that because I'm not interested and then I thought well you know what if can I can I do it I, you know so I want to find out and I may I may find that running is not something that uh, uh, that I love but I I just want to see if I can do it I guess so 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I definitely like riding my bike and I really need to get out and do that, that more. But uh, yeah, it's like perfect but, weather now. It's cooled off here yeah. in the Portland area. So definitely I'm going to get out and do more. You know, I'm going to do a little of both, I think, and just kind of see where it goes. But I just want to um, kind of work more activity into my daily mm -hmm. life um, because I do enjoy it. And that was the thing I found with the bike is that I love riding my bike and getting mm -hmm. out there so yeah, i always enjoyed like after i know i always felt so much better after doing you know doing the treadmill or whatever or the electrical for a while but man during it i felt like i was gonna die and there's a reason yeah. why because i probably was about to <laughs> <laughs> right right yeah since my doctor said not to be working out for a while until Ooh. i get my blood pressure down so that's going to be definitely off the table for a little while until we get the meds figured out and get my numbers a little bit back to normal in the well, normal range. That's good though. You're figuring it out and you're, mm -hmm. you know, you, you're, you're in a place where that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, and it explains why yeah. I was feeling so incredibly crazy while I was trying to work out. And it wasn't just because I was a little overweight. It's because my heart's probably going to explode. So, right. Right. So <laughs> make sure your heart doesn't explode. Then go yeah. from there. Right. Yeah. Go get your, Go get your blood pressure checked before you try to start working out if you haven't been for a while. And yeah. Yeah. You know, I really do feel like with with activity in in general, especially physical activity, that there's just this, it's kind of a double-edged sword when you're a bigger person, because for me at least, maybe it's not this way for everybody, but I felt like um I felt like I couldn't do do any of these things. Mm -hmm. So I didn't try them. Um, I felt like I wasn't like I didn't belong and yep. any of these kind of groups. So I stayed away from that stuff. So then when you so then trying to do that and trying to get back to it is just is like it, it's it's a difficult thing. There's so much mm -hmm. like stress around that and anxiety. But really, when it comes down to it, I mean you know you you've definitely gone to the gym more than mm -hmm. i have it's something i've kind of stayed away from but when you go to the gym you see lots of different people it's not oh yeah you know it's not all and i'm sure it depends on the gym you go to and where yep, it's yeah. at and that kind yeah. of thing but it's not just you know those ripped people the the mm -hmm. gym rats and mm -hmm. it's you know i don't know i'm just i feel like i'm looking at a lot of things like that and probably for a lot of a lot of people who are bigger there are these things that we're just told we can't do and we told we shouldn't do and the active stuff is so interesting because you know people who are like fat shamers or whatever they it's like they want you to do these things but then when you do them yeah they're, they're basically yeah, they're, crapping they're on like, you why aren't you you should work out and then when you do it then they're, yeah yeah right so look yeah 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 there's a Annoying. lot to unpack there it's but there is there is when so. some activity is better than none so whatever whatever yes. you can find to do or feel comfortable doing like right going out for a walk i was just talking with a friend about why i, I should just go for a walk you know like because since i can't really work out work out i'm like i just need to get out and walk but i feel even self-conscious doing that for some reason right and i'm like what is this weird block that i can't just go out and go walk around my neighborhood for a while like like I need to have a purpose so I'm right. like I need Why? to have my dog more often so I have like this quote-unquote reason right to be out on a walk and I'm like what is this what is that like where is this weird block or disconnect where I I can just go for a walk for my own my own whatever I definitely I have, to have my dog with me like oh the dog's the reason I'm out here to walk not right me, you know like walking without purpose feels weird yeah, yeah but it, the purpose is me like right i right. should my mental and physical health that is the purpose and i'm like why do i feel self-conscious about even doing that like yeah that's weird and it was it just is. like i didn't even really pay attention to it before and i was like why what where i gotta yeah i gotta unpack that a little bit more but luckily i have the dog for the next week or so so nice but buckets a nice reason to at least you know maybe yeah. get me in the habit of going out for a walk a couple times a day totally you know maybe maybe you could like 
I don't know, go for a walk to like a, a, a I don't know, a coffee shop or go get a, yeah. a fancy drink and then, you know, mm -hmm. walk back or something like that. Uh, all things that I feel exactly the same way. It's like walking just feels like such a weird, like getting out and just, yeah. But we walk around the neighborhood a lot. We'll do like these family walks and kind of go mm -hmm. through a neighborhood and it, you know, and it's fine. And I, I enjoy very much spending time yeah. with my family doing that, but just going for a walk is just like, I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Yeah. You know, I got to find a crazy route to the corner coffee shop because there's one yes. like a block away. So it's not quite enough. So I got to go walk way around the park and then down and then go there. Right. Right. Ugh. You could always walk to the beer shop or something. The brewery. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. Speaking of which. Uh oh, what do you got there? So I have a beer that we did not get to from uh, our Oktoberfest. <laughs> there there were quite a few. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's good that we stopped where we stopped. I felt like by the end, yeah. we, were, we were about there. So it's pretty toasty. This beer is uh, apparently uh, one of Germany's favorites. It's called, well, it says Dab Dortmunder export so it's dortmunder yeah you can just type in dab i'm sure you'll get it here's mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. green label says dab uh dortmunder actian brewery sorry germany sorry for that um <laughs> yes the original style from germany and it is a well i don't know pilsner i guess <laughs> it says lager there we go lager lager oh uh -huh. yeah mm. we have a whole long story here oh yeah it's a it's good. It's uh, flavorful. Um, mildly hoppy flavor became one of the star products of its age. So while it, the style is considered a milestone in the development of beer culture in the world and became synonymous for superior quality. Well, I enjoy it. It's like, um, <clears throat> it reminds me of a more um, flavorful Budweiser. Oh, Okay. Which, <laughs> which I'm sure, I'm sure is probably way off, but you know, <laughs> I've never heard of bottom fermented. Hmm, that's, what does that mean? Sounds horrifying, right? <laughs> I I don't know either. I'm gonna have to read more about that. So, yeah, it's it's very smooth, very flavorful. It's definitely like may, maybe what I should say instead of it tasting like Budweiser is that maybe this is like their. I'm wondering if Dab is like their their Budweiser, like Germany's Budweiser, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. I don't know. It it kind of it kind of tastes like it's it's just smooth. It's like it feels like it could be mass produced and very easily, you know. Mm -hmm. Some beers we drink definitely don't feel like that. And they don't feel like they would appeal to a broad audience. This yeah, well does. especially when Miller Light and Budweiser are the broad spectrum thing i'm like they taste like nothing so totally <laughs> i'm like totally that beer yep. tastes like nothing especially yeah. now that i've had so many you know different styles of beer i'm like this right that light beer tastes like nothing right yeah and unfortunately this... i am not drinking any beer today i'm it's a little too early in the day for me to and i have stuff to get done i'm just drinking a, a la croix yeah a sparkling water key lime well, good, good. You know, I had I had plenty of beer on the last episode. To yes, yes, tied you're... me, tied me yes. over. You're good for a while. Yeah, mm -hmm, I am. Mm -hmm. um, I'm. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this tall. Yeah, pint like, of a big of beer. Uh, got to do my my treadmilling. So, oh uh, yeah, yeah. You got to do another thirty minute run. Yep, yep. <laughs> so, so I we'll see we'll see how that goes. We'll see yeah. if uh, you know. Uh, how it goes today but uh yeah so i've been uh keeping a daily log of my blood pressure which i have to do every day oh. and i noticed the so there's two different numbers and i never can remember which one is which hmm. but the second number has not really changed in the couple of weeks that i've been on these meds so i've been doing some you know light research on other than physical exercise you know like I know I need to get my diet under control, my eating habits a little bit better. Um, there's a a fancy uh, eating plan called the DASH diet. Um, mm. It is the dietary approaches to stop hypertension, which mm. I definitely have. I'm like stage two or whatever. So, because my blood pressure is really high. 
Um, but it, it's basically, it's not like a restrictive diet. It's like an eating plan. So it's emphasizing uh, fruits and vegetables, um, lean proteins. So, you know, like less red meat, no salt and sugar kind of stuff. Okay. Um, but it's, it's mostly about getting more servings of, like I said, fruits and veg, whole grains, like legumes, mm. you know, beans and nuts and seeds, all okay. that stuff that I, I, I like eating. So just getting a better representation of like, what is a serving is always kind of struggling for me sometimes. So they give examples of like a cup of leafy greens or, you know, a medium apple is one serving. And so just eating, just giving you examples of things to eat more of mm. that I, you know, it's kind of basic sense or common sense on a lot of this stuff. Um, but, you know, not eating processed foods, um, you know, making it, you got to be careful when you go out to eat because so much stuff has a lot of added sodium to it. So sure. Um, but the, a weird thing I found out, like, you know, a lot of salad dressings and canned fruits or canned vegetables or any of that beans they have like so much salt added to it and oh yeah right did you know deli meat like lunch meat has a whole bunch of sodium in it i didn't yeah, even everything I, I was like that kind of blows my mind because i'm like yeah i'm making a you know a sandwich at home this is so much healthier i'm like oh wow <laughs> look at all of that sodium in that lunch meat cool okay great right. so just oh, man. paying attention to yeah. you know food labels which, you know, I never really pay attention to. I, I sure. had like tried to um, get some, you know, low salt, you know, crackers and stuff like that, just because I already kind of knew that sodium was bad for high blood pressure. So, but right. just being a little bit more aware of that and, you know, shopping the outside aisle of the grocery store first, you know, the, all the fruits and veg, start there, fill up your cart with those things. Oh, yeah. Well, there but, we go. Yeah. So check out the dash diet. It's, you know, it's not a weight loss sort of plan. I mean, it may do that, but that's not the, the, that's the, not the goal, the goal. Um, it's also good for, um, like diabetes and cancer stuff, uh, prevent, cool. you know, all that okay. kind of stuff. So check it out. Um, it's, it's similar to the Mediterranean diet, which I've been reading about. So um, that's hmm. very similar. Um, but yeah, just another way right. to get those high blood pressure numbers down a bit, which that's going to be my top of mind for a while. Cause right. Right. Well, I'm there still getting the meds figured out. So any little bit I can help. Yeah. Those numbers you know, down. The just balancing all that stuff, I'm sure is yeah. tricky and interesting to, to learn. Mm-hmm. It was just, it's just weird that I'm like the other number is moving, but that second number, I think it's the, when it's at rest, mm -hmm. the diastolic, hmm. uh, I can't remember. Okay. Well, maybe it just takes some time, you know, yeah. Yeah. to I'm, get there. I know it's going to be a, a long road to get, getting where it needs to be, but. But you're working at it and that's good. Yep. You know. Um, I only have one thing today and, uh, it, uh, would probably increase your blood pressure. Oh, goody. But, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, or it just might make you laugh a lot. It kind of made me laugh. Um, <laughs> All right. a PR pitch that came into Chubster is, uh, uh, Shaquille O'Neal has, uh, started a Halloween festival and it's called Shacktoberfest. <laughs> okay. Yes. And uh, I get this, uh, uh, it looks like it is basically like it's right along the, the Queen Mary is a boat that's down there in Long Beach. And uh, he has set up this uh, festival haunted house thing. So it's got, they're like rides, mm -hmm. like carnival stuff, a pumpkin patch, uh, a creepy boardwalk. Um, that you can go to during the day or night. Um, it, yeah, it looks like he's got a whole thing. There's something called Shipwreck Graveyard. Um, it looks like it's in a like cargo building. Something called Dead Man's Wharf. 
Now, this is only going to be really relevant to anybody who lives in the L.A. area and wants to go to this. Yeah, but I just yeah. thought the fact that Shaq started a uh, that's weird. Like, haunted what, does he really like house. Halloween? Or apparently, this was the the first thing that I had heard of it was this. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's pretty great. So, this Dead Man's Wharf is uh, it looks like it looks like a lot of it's family friendly. Um, there's something called Pirate's Cove, which looks like it might be a bar. Um, Man, it looks like a lot of drinking is happening. Yeah, in these yeah. So, uh, I mean, it looks like fun. I, if I were down there, I would, mm-hmm. I would mm-hmm. go. And uh, yeah, Captain, it goes through Captain October Shack's 31st. Hideaway. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yep, uh, that's funny. Goes all the way through October. Um, basically, full weekends. Um, and you can get lots of different kinds of tickets. Uh, children's tickets uh, start at twenty nine ninety nine, and adult general admission starts at thirty four ninety nine. They've got like VIP packages where you get all kinds of, mm-hmm. you know, you get access to everything, and I don't know, cocktails, beverages, whatever. Um, yeah, so shacktoberfest dot com. <laughs> wow! So definitely check it out. That's but, crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it seemed like something fun. So yeah, mm-hmm. I know. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do for Halloween. Yeah, I don't um, think it'll be that, but it will not. It will not be that. I know. I'm definitely dressing up. I am. I need to figure that out in the next week or so. We've got a spirit Halloween that is opening. Uh, it should be any time. It wasn't open a couple days ago. It should really? be open. Yeah, yeah, I know. Surprisingly. I'm like it's, I've been to a couple of them already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one out here in in my neighborhood was uh, is usually open by now, but it wasn't this time. So they had things in there. They were just off to a slow start. So I'm gonna go check it out. Um, I did also. Speaking of Spirit Halloween, saw that there is a Spirit Halloween the movie coming out. <laughs> yes, okay. hilarious. I watched the trailer. It looks like it's it's probably for like older kids. It kind of looked like you know. One of those kind of things. Uh, some kids are trapped in a, they're locked in a spirit Halloween overnight. It was kind of the wow. feel that I got from it. But um, I love it. Spirit Halloween. Go see it, everyone. Yeah. So there we go. That's all I got. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Um, go get your blood pressure checked. Yes. Do it. That's all I'm going to say. There we go. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Jody. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to Heavy Conversation. Be sure to like and subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Podcasts. (laughs) Podcasts.